Hey there, this is Tina with Content Creators Club. I'm so excited to walk through this deep dive on this video. I'm talking to you a little bit about the things that I wish I knew. And so with that being said, before we go ahead and get started, make sure you grab the freebie in the description below, or if you are watching this on my newsletter, check out the offer below this video. But with that being said, let's kind of go into this topic about what three years of running a content business has taught me to value this one thing and it's really important that it's not money and it's actually very surprising is because people always think that money is the most important thing and yes it is very important but it is the mo not the most valued thing to me and so i think you might feel like you're in a similar situation similar predicament right and so i really want to give some context here right so you know what's interesting is like I'm only human. Sometimes I even struggle with what I want to do and I would say that I am an authority and an expert in some areas. In some areas I just kind of need to go back to the basics, right? And so one of those basi basics is I sometimes have a hard time telling people what I do. And it happens to the best of us. It doesn't matter how great you are in your business. Sometimes you just do so much that you kind of struggle with like what the hell is that I do um, but I've kind of landed a little bit closer to what I think is realistic about what I do in my business and so I just kind of want to like see how this lands feel free to let me know in the comments or reply to my email and what your thoughts are but I help burnt out creators automate their traffic content and income so they can spend less time on social media because honestly fuck social media <laughs> um, and I want to know like how did that land please reply and let me know your thoughts. It definitely helps a lot with market research, by the way. If you have not booked a market research session with me at the time of this, I am opening for them, but there are limited spots because I genuinely just don't do a ton of calls. So if you want one, make sure you grab one. Feel free to reply back to my email and I'll send you the booking link. Um, if you're watching this on you know, any other social media platform that's on my email list, then you probably want to join my email list. So then I can actually send it to you. So Anyways, I really want to give some context on why this kind of all came up, right? And so this is because I got the opportunity recently to do a freelance gig for a big creator in the industry. I was kind of very floored. I kind of was networking with this person at a conference and we got to chatting and it might seem like it might be a good, a good idea for me to help her out. But the thing is, is like, I'm still debating on whether or not I want to do it. I'm probably leaning towards not doing it. Um, I still need to break that news to her. But the reason why I say this is because like I'm in a position where I very, very rarely ever <laughs> take on any client work. And so that means like, again, like any client work, any, any like client engagement, it, it just barely happens. And if it does happen, like I genuinely need to be excited to work with you. And it's not even about the money. It's really just about like what is important to me and what is important to me is my peace and my time and you know I think the thing is is like yes you could forego like this is this is just an example for me right I could definitely make way more money if I did take on client work but I value and like like a Jedi like protect my time and my peace and my calendar that I will forego money because I want my peace, because I want my time back. And so this is why I focus so much on creating passive income streams as a creator that is not reliant on my time. And so one of the reasons why like she thought that I would be good to help her out was because I was telling a little a little bit about like all the automations I have in my content business. If you don't know this already, like I have 80% of my content business pretty much automated and like done for me like with automations and AI and she kind of said it perfectly she's like well it sounds like you just maximize content and I was like yes I do maximize content I maximize content reach um, I maximize like you know content distribution because I don't like social media and I would love my auto I love and I have all my automations disseminating all my content across social media without me actually having to do anything right literally like I work out of this fucking air table and that's it like I'm never going into a scheduler like I never like actually like post the content manually to any platform like it just truly lives on this database that I created you probably want to check out my content database freebie. It's very helpful. And I just have a bunch of automations hooked up to it. Anyways, that's a different topic for a different day. Um, also, some people have told me that I created marketing machines. Like if you haven't checked out like our $9 daily content generator, highly recommend for you to check that out. 
that's basically how I'm able to create a marketing machine with no code. But the thing that I have honestly like landed on is like I feel like I help creators simply just do less work so they can bring more leads and money in their process and money in their business, right? And maybe that's my tagline. I'm not really sure yet, but like my goal in anything that I do is to do less but bring in more or the same results, right? And so while every guru is telling you to do more and to keep going and keep pushing and keep hustling, like I opt on the side of doing less because I don't think it's worth your time to do more. And so the thing that I think about when I think about doing less is focus on one thing at a time, maximize the revenue streams that don't rely on your time and gives you time back to do whatever the fuck you want in your business, right? Like if you have a business that allows you to do these three things, like congratulations, you're doing great. And it's taken me a very long time to get to that place in my business where I can have all those three things, right? Because time is is the one thing that you can never get back. And honestly, like somebody told me recently, like is like to ask for a person's time is to ask for a, per- a part of a person's life. And truthfully, like really think about this here, right? Like if you are asking for a person's time on their calendar, like you are asking them f- truly for a part of their life that they could never get back, right? And so like if they can't get that back, you better damn well <laughs> like make it worth my time to even consider spending that time with you, right? And so that's how I want you to think about in your business, right? I want you to be ruthless with your time, ruthless with doing the shit that actually brings money in your business and doesn't take away time from life that you could be having, right? And so like, this is why I'm such a big believer in automations and AI to get you back time in your business, how I have a virtual assistant, you know, she helps me a lot, but she only takes only 15% of the business because 80% is, is again, done with automations and AI. But like, I only work 5% in this business and I know it's truly possible because when you value your time, you value what you spend your activities on. And I want you to think about what are the activities you're spending on. You're, You're either spending your time on pointless shit that like doesn't actually move the needle. It's probably driving vanity metrics on social media or you're spending the time that things that actually bring leads and bring money, right? Making money is not hard. It just requires focused work. That's what it comes down to, right? And so what is the thing that you're going to focus on to drive revenue, right? Maybe it's just me and how I value time, but let me know in the comments. What do you value your time? Or sorry, I think the better question is like, what would you be doing with your time if you had all the time in the world? And why aren't you doing that right now? That is my question for you. But um, with that being said, I also want to let you know that um, in four days, I'm releasing my next collaborations email of the month to all my collab members. And if you want to be the person who's on the list of individuals who get all those collaborations, make sure you become a member before then so I can add you to the list of people that I'm going to send this collaborations list to. And I'm also giving out a bonus and it's going to be released on August 12th, right? But you need to like, on the fifth day of this of august like you need to actually sign up um for an annual bonus right meaning you need to be an annual member but if you sign up as an annual member i'm going to give you my number one no work revenue stream that allows me to add thousand a thousand dollars every year into my business with collaborations without an offer and the whole shebang right it's truly just been game changer and like i that i I just said (sighs) no work revenue streams are the best revenue streams and i would love to share the strategy with anyone who becomes an annual member to this collab membership and if when you do you will get access to that on the week of august 12th so i look forward to giving that to you and i look forward to welcome you into my membership with that being said go ahead like and comment and subscribe and i'll see you in the next video adios bye